After a long day of unlucky hunting, I found myself stuck in the middle of the marshlands for the night, without a flashlight or a lantern to guide my stumbling steps. So I settled beside a fallen log to rest until the daylight. As I tossed and turned, I recalled the story my great uncle told me about a ghost that haunted the marshlands. There was once a man named Jack, who was a very nasty man. He beat his wife and his kids, and was all around a very bad man. Jack got worse and worse as the years rolled by, but finally, Jack's old body grew so warm that he died. He went to heaven and met St. Peter, but he refused such a corrupt and evil soul entry into heaven. Then he went to hell, but the devil himself barred the door as soon as he saw Jack coming refused to allow him in. Go away and don't come back, the devil ordered Jack. How am I supposed to get back in the dark, Jack grumbled. Give me a lantern, he demanded of the devil. The devil, not wanting Jack to remain, chucked a molten fire at Jack, who took it for his lantern and went back to earth, where he wanders forever through the swamps and marshlands of the earth, a bitter spirit whose only delight was luring the unwary to their doom with his land. At this juncture, my musing, I happened to look out over the marshes, and noticed a blinking light in the fog. Thank you, Jack-o'-lantern, I called out, jokingly. Jack, a voice whispered back. I was seriously spooked. I clutched my gun to my chest, and the hairs on my arms standed on end. Had that been an echo of my own voice? Or was someone out there, besides me? Who's there? I shouted, trying to sound brave and menacing. I waved my gun around. Show yourself at once! Jack. The voice hissed from a completely different direction of the swamp. A light blinked on and then off. On and then off. Shudders ran up my spine as the sound of the ghastly voice came from nowhere. I'd huddled again, up against the log, wanting something firm on my back. Suddenly, the story of Jack O' Lantern didn't seem so funny. My heart was pounding so hard, it made my chest hurt. I strained my ears in the silence that fell over the swamp. Jack, the voice hissed from somewhere to my left this time. The light blinked on, then off, and on. I counted ten heartbeats this time before it went off. The voice sounded closer. I held very still, my instinct screaming at me to hold my breath and not move until the menace had passed. The voice came again, far off to my right. The light came off, on, and then off. It's moving away, I thought, relaxing just a bit, feeling safer. There was a long, long, long silence. Nothing stirred. Not the wind in the grass, not the frogs or turtles of the water, not the crickets or other insects of the night. Jack, the voice hissed softly right into my ear, and I turned to look up into the glowing red eyes and twisted face of the jack-o'-lantern. I screamed and lashed out at with my gun. I ran a few steps, tripped and fell over, knocking my head on a sharp stone. For a moment I saw stars and felt blood pouring from my scalp. But the jack-o'-lantern was right behind me. I had to get away. I rolled and fell into a deep pool. I plunged underneath the water, flailing desperately against the rope-like grasses that tried to keep me down. My head finally burst out of the water and I gasped desperately for air, treading the water as best I could with my trembling limbs and aching head. I heard the creature laugh in the mist. Jack! The voice hissed delightfully, and the light blinked on, off, and on, right over my head. Blinding my dazed eyes as horror flowed through me and froze my limbs so I could no longer swim. For a long moment, the grotesque face and red eyes of the jack o' lantern loomed out of the mist before my petrified gaze. My head started to swim with pain from the, my bleeding skull. The evil face above me, lit by a bright light, whirled round and round, growing dimmer as my eyes started to glaze. I was vaguely aware that I should keep swimming, keep trying to make my way to the edge of the pool, but the effort was too much for my suddenly heavy limbs. I barely noticed myself plunging down, deep into the watery depths of the pool, too stunned by my injury to fight my way to the surface for a second time. Then there was only darkness silence, and a voice hissing in cold triumph. Jack.
with this story told, blow out your sixth candle. And maybe, with the remaining candles, you might see the very face of Jack O'Lantern himself.